that has been heard in heaven. Yes, Lord. A song that has been resourceful received by those who have heard the words of encouragement to remind us that makes no difference what someone else is going through. Yes. Amen. You pray on. Yes. Hallelujah. Makes no difference who stopped. Who stopped? You pray on. Lord. Yeah, Lord. For there will come a time uh -huh. yes, that it will pay off. Lord. Yes. And that's what I'm saying. Say, serving the Lord will pay off. Uh huh. After a while. Yes, yeah, Lord. Amen. But I'm here to tell you, it's paying off right now. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. For many of us who believe yes. in God. Oh, yes. yes. Lord. I'm looking in the book of Revelation. Glory. Yeah. Book of what? Revelation. Okay. And I'm looking at the fifth verse. Chapter. Yeah. Fifth chapter beginning yeah. at the first verse. Yeah. According to the King James Version, it said. And I saw uh -huh. in the right hand of him yeah. that set it, that set on the throne uh -huh. a book written within on the back side sealed with seven seals. Uh -huh. yeah. And I saw, I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. Uh -huh. yeah. Who is worthy yeah. to open the book uh -huh. and to loose the seals thereof? Lord. Amen. Amen. That, that's what the scripture says. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. John was writing here. Yeah. And John kept on talking about a personal thing. He said, and I saw. I saw. Amen. There, I just want you for a text. I found someone who will go. Uh -huh. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for thou your God. All powers are still in your trusted hands. Glory. And Lord, we thank you for the testimony of Israel, the song of Zion, yes. the presence of your Holy Spirit and your yes. people. Yes. But right now, Master, I ask that you will remove all scales from our eyes, stones yes. from our heart, wax from our ears, that we may hear from heaven. Yes. Yes. Lord. Yes. And Lord God, that you may speak to our heart, soul, and mind. Be blessed, Lord, in Jesus' name we ask. Amen. 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 I found someone who will go. Uh -huh. yes. John here is writing in the book of Revelation. Yeah. The last book of the 66th book of the original that has been given to us. John say, I saw. When we are speaking, many times we're speaking from evidence which we have experienced or hope to experience. Uh -huh. John says that in the right hand, let me know that I can tell the difference between left and right. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us, we don't know the difference between what someone is asking, thinking that they're talking about us before we answer. Lord. Some of us don't seem to comprehend when somebody tell you turn left and you turn right. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes our thinking get clogged up. Yeah. We used to blame it on all time. Lord. We used to blame it on dementia. Yeah. But now we are finding ourselves in those areas where we are easily to forget something. Yeah. If it's no more than for a moment. Yeah. But John saying, I saw. Lord. Don't tell me what I didn't see. I saw in the right hand of him that set it on the throne. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> A book written within and on the back 
side of the book. Uh -huh. yeah. Let you know that he saw the front side yes. and the back side. Yes. Yeah. Some of us only see part of something. Uh -huh. But don't get to see the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Just say, I saw uh -huh. in the right hand. Glory. Of him yes. that sat on the throne. Uh -huh. yeah. Now I'm not confusing who I saw. I saw him. Somebody say, How can you see Jesus if you never met him? Well, yeah. so that indicates that John knew Jesus. Uh -huh. That indicates that even after death, John recognized what Jesus looked like. Yes. Yes. That recognized to me that. John not only knew Jesus before death, he also knew the expectation of what to see after death. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw him with a book. <laughs> and it hurt somebody feeling somewhere in this land. Glory. I don't care what we put in a coffin with someone. Jewelry, clothing, Whatever it may be, John say I saw him with a book. Look. Now, what's so important about the book? We find that this is not no ordinary book. Yeah. I know. This is not a Tom Sawyer classic. Yeah. This is not a Charles Dickinson book. Oh. Not an Echo Apple Paul book. Amen. This is. The book. That's what he said here. I saw him with a book. A book. One book. Yeah. yeah. Now today we got computers. Uh -huh. But John was looking in the future of today. He was looking in the time uh -huh. when Jesus Lord. sets on the throne. Our computer need electricity. Uh-huh. Say that. Our computer need internet. Yeah. Lord, Lord. Our computer need a monitor. Yeah, yeah. But the book didn't need none of that. Right, right, right. right. Somebody catch up with me now. Come yeah. on, man. Yeah. John say I saw he who was in the beginning. Uh-huh. With God. Yeah. Lord. Who came in the flesh. As a God, and who still lives among us in the spirit. Yeah. Now I saw him with a book, but it was sealed with seven seals. Seven seals. That indicates I can count again. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see one. I didn't see two. I know. Come on now. I didn't see three. Uh-huh. I didn't see four, five, nor six. Lord. Or any other number but seven. Seals. On this book. John let us know that what he saw is what he saw. Lord. Then he turned around and said, and I saw. Yeah, yeah. I ain't finished with what I saw. I know some people are tired before I get started. I know some people get tired of me before I even get in the door. I know some people get tired of me because I'm not dressed well and this and that. John said, but I saw a strong angel. Mm -hmm. That indicate there's some weak angels somewhere. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on, let's take our time with it. He on, said, man. I saw a strong angel. Strong angel. Right. I'm not talking about one who went to the gym and made him some muscles. <laughs> but I saw a strong <laughs> angel. <laughs> proclaiming with an all voice. Yeah. Now let me tell you now, just in case some of us got like me when I got water on my ears so I can't hear as good. Uh-huh. John didn't have that problem. 
John said, I saw a strong angel proclaiming with what? A loud voice. Lord. And the voice wasn't saying anything but who is worthy Ready. to open the book? Ooh. Now, let's go back to good news right quick. Everybody got some news to tell somebody. Uh -huh. But John knew what he wanted to hear and see and tell us. He said, I got good news for you today. Yeah. I saw an angel uh -huh. proclaiming with a loud voice. Yeah. Who is worthy to open the book? Not know any book. But there's only one book that I saw in the hands of him. Lord. And then not only you can't just be worthy, you got to be able to do what? Loose the sin. Yes. Some of us get down and we pray, our Father, which I have. And let me tell you, it sounds good to repeat and recycle a prayer. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But let me tell you, I'll tell you, ask for forgiveness first. Yeah. That prayer ain't going nowhere. Yeah. No. <clears throat> let me see, see it one more time. It's good to pray. Yeah. Uh -huh. But until you seek forgiveness and repentance, your yeah. prayer is not being heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Just in case I lost somebody, let's go back. There was a time that heaven and earth was not in communication. Yes. Now some of us are not going to live to be a hundred. Lord. And if we do, some of us ain't going to live to be a hundred and thirty. Lord. Let me say it that easy. Okay? But if you live it within the 400 years and die, one would ask the question, did God ever hear you at all? So you ought to be happy that you're in a good news sign where God can still hear you. Yes. Because there's no disconnection between man and God now. Amen. That's what the scripture says. Uh -huh. I found someone who will come. The Bible tells us that when God needed someone, can you imagine your mom Lord. say, come go to the store. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now back in the days, many of us were happy to go to the store. Yes. Thinking that we're gonna get her something. Uh-huh. Thinking that we can buy something. Uh-huh. Or just to get out of the house, maybe. But she ain't called no name. She said, come go to the store. Yeah. I heard Mr. Jackson say he had 18 at one time. Can you imagine how many of them jump in and come I go, I go, I go. Because God needed somebody who would go. Glory. Well, one asked the question, why didn't God come to himself? Because it wasn't time that God appeared yeah. before that. Can you imagine God needed somebody Glory. that the world could be saved? Yeah. Can you imagine all the people in the house today God could have chose to go carry the news? Lord. Yeah. Can you imagine Jesus needing somebody? Can you imagine the one he wanted the most was not available? Amen. Can I say that to you? Mm -hmm. I'm going back to Jesus before he died. Uh -huh. He said, I shall lay for three days. Uh -huh. Come on now. And I'll rise again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm 
I'm quite sure y'all heard me. Uh-huh. But on that day, yeah. that great getting up morning, yeah. those who heard me was absent. Glory. We asked the question, can God depend on you? And now you ask. Yeah. Yeah. When I was giving out good wine at the wedding, and you didn't even have an invitation, but you came and you ate and you drank. I know. And you drank. I know. <laughs> when he heard I was coming down the pool by the pool of Salon, and that was the main lane by Old Gate Beautiful, and, and, and the word was, Jesus was coming through. Everybody came to see. But now, where are you? Lord. Who can I depend on? Uh-huh. When the soldier daughter died, it didn't like me. But he had enough sense to know that he needed me. Right. Preach it. And I forgot to have ribbons in my heart, and I went and woke her up from her rest. But now, I don't even see her. When Ruth Became a widow. Yeah. She needed a new provider. Yeah. I son Boaz. Oh, no. But now she's not a go. Jose fell in love with this beautiful woman. He wanted and waited and watched her in her sin. And now he's not a villain. Uh-huh. Remember Moses. Walk countless people out of the house of Pharaoh. Lord. They complain and I open up the Red Sea that they can walk because many couldn't swim. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now none of them are the Well. Can God count on you? Yeah. Thank you. I found someone. Yeah. Who will go? Abraham, the father of faith. But right now, I need somebody who will go. And Abraham recognized himself as a liar. Uh And a liar need not to be representing God. Well, Job begged me to die. My problem with Job was that he became disobedient. Yeah. Even after I healed him, Lord. he's not a devil. Amen. Ezekiel. I gave him an experience like I never gave no one else. Amen. And I don't care how much you saw in the spirit, Ezekiel said, I saw a wheel in the middle of the wheel. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. But 
But all of a sudden, he's not a villain. Well. I look for Medica. Uh -huh. He's busy over there counting money. Because all of a sudden, we learn we shouldn't rob God. Right. He's not a villain. Lord. Can't God depend on you? Oh, yeah. There was a voice that cried from the altar. And in my mind, he heard God checking out all thy servants, right. all thy labor. All thy people. Just in case you think he forgot, he looked at Saul. Uh -huh. Can't do it. He looked at David. Too many stains and blemishes. He looked at Esther. She loved her place on the throne. Uh -huh. He even went down and looked at Jezebel. Come here. You know, God can change you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he yeah. okay. But he didn't need, need what he saw. Lord. Can't God depend on you? He even went back to time and looked up Mesokinesia. Good. The record just too long, too bad. Somebody reckon meant Joseph, a dreamer of all interpreters. I don't need nobody running, trying to save the life. I need somebody who's willing to give that life. Yeah, like. <laughs> Break it. God knows who you are. Yeah. 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 And whether or not he can depend on you. He knows. And he knows when you're about to lie. Lord. Say, Lord, if you need me, call on me, and I answer. Well, call Lazarus one day. Lazarus could not answer. Lord. Word got to God. Well, you know Lazarus in the grave. He called on Jonah. Yeah, yeah. Jonah was down deep in the water. Yeah. Cut between teeth and jaw. Come on now. Could not answer. Break it. He was looking for Elijah. Ducked off in the cave. Uh-huh. You can't be afraid to lose your life when I'm sending you to give your life. Lord, Lord. Looked around and around and around. Can you imagine? He even went stood at the staircase. And he saw he that walked up the staircase yeah. and realized that he too could not come. Lord. Somebody say, what about Adam? Well. He 
you loved in him that you gave him first in everything. Well, well, the scripture say, he who is first shall be last. Shall be last. Yes, it did. Preach it. Come with me, saints. Lord. I still need somebody who will go. But that same voice cried again from under the altar. Say, prepare me a body. Prepare. Well. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. God gave him an assignment. I shall prepare your body like no other body had. And I will put in you my spirit Say that. like no other spirit could have. Say that. And now in fact, I'm going to give you a set time. Say that. Yeah. And when I call you, come on back up. Lord. But I want to tell you, where you're going, it's going to be rough for you. My Lord. You're in royalty now, but I'm going to dethrone you to give you another throne. But nobody will see you for who you are. Yeah, yeah. Very few people will receive you for who you shall be. Amen. I'm going to make sure that you have the least accommodations. Uh -huh. Bible said that when his arrival came, when the people came to come see who he is, to be who he will become, they found him in a manger, wrapped in squabbling clothes. Three wise men travel from the fall. Yeah. Well. And they found him in a manger. Yeah. In the midst of animals. Lord. How low can you go? Yeah. Some of us know about smelling and sniffing cow manure. Mind up. If it's bad enough in the open air, what do you think it feel like in a con contained room? Lord. But Jesus lay right there. Yeah, yeah. Jesus came in the midst of his mother and a foster father. In the midst of a relationship that was hooked up and wrapped up together. Yeah, well. Some of us complain that I don't know who my daddy is. Some of us say I come from a one parent home. Yeah. But here is the Lord, our Savior, coming in the midst of home. Yeah, yeah. And in the midst of the land where his family come from, and they didn't even want them in their house. Lord. But I found someone. Who yeah. Got. Twelve years of Jesus' life, he's with his parents. Eighteen years later, he's back on the scene Amen. after being absent. Amen. The Bible says that Jesus was at a punch. He told his mother, it's about time I get at my father's business. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, I've hung with you long enough. Yeah. But it's time that I go do my work. Yeah, yeah. The Bible says that he went to a wedding one day. Amen. And his mother come running to him, saying, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah. Can yeah. I say that to you? Not? In today's time, I, I need to borrow your credit card. <laughs> In today's time, I need you to take care of this bill for me. Huh? But what she said to him is that they are why? In my mind, Jesus saying, this ain't my wedding. Yeah, it ain't my party. Lord. 
So well, what do they have to do with, with me? me. But because we are obedient to yeah. our leaders yeah. and our parents, I'm going to do this one for you. Yeah. But let me tell you now, it ain't going to be the same one. It ain't going to be white pope, not Thunderbird. <laughs> but I'm going to give you some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my Lord, my God. Yeah. I heard Jesus went in the Father and he found 12 men sitting there and moving around the dock of the bay. Come on, yeah, Lord, and I heard him say, follow me. Come on. They say, I'm already a fisherman. He said, but if you follow me, Come on. I'll make you a fisherman among men. Yeah. You catch fish right now. Uh -huh. But for the Lord, my God, you're going to catch men into salvation. My God, my God, I, 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 I've been seeing the hear the Lord say, follow me. Lord, follow yeah, me. Yeah. And they dropped what they was doing and they walked with Jesus. Lord. They didn't know Jesus didn't have no money. My Lord. They didn't know Jesus didn't have no throne. Uh -huh. oh, they didn't God. know Jesus didn't have no face of his own. Lord. But they followed him well, all through the land. The land. Yeah. The Bible says that there came a time uh, when they got the people together. Yeah. He began to minister to them. And it began to, the hour began to change. My Lord. They stayed out there a long time. And one of the disciples went to him and said, Master, Master. these people, they may die, they went home from hunger. We've been out here a long time. Yeah. It's mighty hot out there and no water to drink properly. Jesus said, well, we need to feed these people. Uh-huh. And the disciple gave him the bad news. We have no money. Come on, church. All right. No money. I'm looking at all these prophets. Uh-huh. All these cattle on the thousand hills. Yeah. But we have no money. No money. Sure. I don't care how nice that man keep his yard next door. That ain't yours. Ah! Care about all them cows across the field. It ain't ours. You can't get one. So the proud the disciple came to him and said, Master, Master. I, I I found among us one person who has his lunch. Well. Jesus say, Where is he and bring him to me? Amen. Well, Master, I I I I'm here to tell you we got thousands out here and not even counting the boys and girls, just not even counting the females, just the men alone, we got thousands. Lord. And his little meal can't do it all. He said, bring it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus can do much with them. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He prayed. Yeah, thank you, Lord. They all ate. Yeah. And then there was still left over that filled so many baskets. Yeah. Sure. He ain't through yet because God knew he found someone. Someone. Who will go. <laughs> he was at a revival in my mind one night, preaching and teaching, to the next day, there was a knock on the door. Uh -huh. Tell Nicodemus came and said unto him, Rabbi! Yeah, Rabbi. Rabbi. I know Lord. the Lord master that was sent by God. I know. The Bible says that Jesus received him as if yeah. the Spirit has revealed these things. Yeah. But now, there's the time. Mm -hmm. Good friend, Lazarus, news got to God. God sent news to Jesus. Lord, huh? Thy friend Lazarus is sick. Yeah. Later on, the news got to him again. He had died. The disciples say, Master, Master, should we go see about our dear friend? Yeah, yeah. Jesus say, let the dead bury, bury, bury the, the dead. dead. When you're on God's mission, that's time to deal with other things later. But right now, you're on the mission for God. Yes. 
That's hard for some of us to accept when it's us who have the need. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can't God count on you? Lord. The same people who love the Jesus. That same one disciple called Peter. Yeah. Yeah. But it came time for your life or my life. I chose my life because Peter had the chance to <clears throat> witness for Jesus, yes, Lord. but chose to deny him. Yes, not once, not twice, but three times in one day. Yes. I think you even got tired of me on the first time I denied you. Man, Lord. I don't think you even want to talk to me on the second time. But the Bible says that after Jesus completed his task, that morning when he got up, of all the people he wanted to see, he wanted to see Peter. Peter. Don't you know God loves you so much he wants to see you? Uh -huh. I see Mary Magdalene, I see Mary, I see Salome. But I want to see Peter. Where are you? Now I need you to go tell him. Yeah. And then yeah. to meet me. Ooh, Lord Jesus. I found someone who will go. Yeah. I couldn't count on Peter. But I found Mary and Mary Magdalene. Yeah. I found Salome. I told them to go tell them. Right. I said. Meet me in Galilee. Will you go for the Lord? Ooh, After all God has done for you, would you go for the Lord? After all God has provided, would you go for him? Yeah, Lord. Meet me in Galilee. That's good news in the house. Good today. news. Yeah. That God still got a way made out of nowhere. Because you don't have money to eat, God can still feed you. Because you don't have money for your bill, he can still keep them up. Yeah. He's a provider like Noah. And he will do what no other God or no other man can do. He loves you. Okay. And just in case you don't feel like he loves you, I know he loves me. Yes, love Good news. I went to the doctor this week. Lord. Doc, last week. Uh huh. My kidneys is doing good enough that I don't even have to feel threat. But they figured out it came from the chemo and radiation. Yeah, yeah. That took away a fear. Uh -huh. You ever had something just take away from you? Uh -huh. yes. Went to the heart doctor. All tests are good stuff in one. But they told me how to correct that problem. Come on now. Watch God work. If God has not done nothing for you, that's you. That's there. I know what he done for me. Lord. And when you make up your mind that you'll go all the way, mm. he'll see you through. Yes, yes, Lord. You get to the Red Sea, you can't swim, he'll open it up for you. Oh, yes. Lord. You get in the valley and you find out you have no means of, of hunting, no means of buying, no means of, of replacing what you lost. God will provide in the middle of nowhere. See men and women walking around town now looking for a job in the same spot every day. Yeah, but let me tell you, I had a job walk up to me at 4 30 in the afternoon, told me I could be at work at 12 o'clock that night. Yeah. You have to believe in who you believe in. Because right. if you don't believe, why should God do it? Does a man think it? Such so as it. If you put your mind in the gutter, that's where you're going to be. Yeah. Think high. Think big. Yeah. But think safe. 
God will do it right. Glory. And just like the most of us are here today, are motherless. But let me tell you, God will put somebody in your life. They'll never feel that spot, but He'll put somebody in your life. Uh-huh. Don't ever think that you are alone. Yes. You don't have to box with God. He's going to do it for you. And you see, I reign on the just as well as the unjust. He just woke you up this morning because you were saved and sanctified. He woke up some sinners. Not just no some, a lot of them. God loves us. Yes, he does. And we ought to be grateful today. Yes. Man, that God found somebody. Somebody. He can trust. Yeah, Who will go all the way. Yes, he All the songwriters say all the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. Because we're going to need somebody. Yes. To take us from here to right love. Lord. Someone, in case we're still stuck here where you come, yes. we're able to signal yes. that we have that sign in our forehead oh, yeah. that we have been chosen by God. Uh-huh. I don't know if you wash your robe yet, but continue on washing your robe. Amen. Yeah. Because every day the wind blows, you may have another spot or wrinkle that you didn't recognize. Lord. But thank God, the blood of Jesus covers all sin. Yes, yes Lord. He'll wash you. Yes. He'll cleanse you. Yes. As I decrease today, I want you to know that God ain't through blessing you yet. Yes. My Lord. For in my house are many mansions, so say the Lord. Yes. And if it was not so, I would have told you. Lord. Some say, I know the Lord. We'll make a way. Yeah. Oh, yes, he will. Yeah. You may be down in trouble. Yeah. You may be thinking about what tomorrow looks like in your yeah. life. But when you turn it over to Jesus, yeah. he'll work it out. Lord. I trust in God. Yeah. Wherever I may be. Yeah. Out upon the land, upon God's mercy. Yeah. Get right, church. Yes, Prepare yourself to go home. Yes. And if by chance you stuck here when Jesus comes back, mm-hmm. just know that He's looking for you. Amen. Don't be like the five foolish virgins. All of a sudden you made it in your mind you want to go get what you need. Yes. Get it while you can. Yes. The Bible says that night time should surely come. Yes. Work wisely. But when night comes, no man can work. Lord. I thank you today. Lord. Today is Mother's Day. I have blue roses clips for you all today. Representing life still in the back. Yes, yes. No. In back. We can get out a lot of traditional things, but one thing we can't get out right now. And I ain't trying to get out of it because life in the back. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I have a gift for the women's today.